Hello and welcome to your daily energy report. I'm Ben Lack. Sunray Solar has partnered with Clean Power Finance to bring more affordable financing options to consumers interested in solar power. This partnership supports Sunray Solar's goal of delivering the best solar solutions available at an affordable price. According to the Solar Energy Industries Association, residential installations in the U.S. grew by 26 percent toward the end of 2011, and analysts and industry experts expect the demand for residential solar in 2012 and beyond to continually increase. The Unit 2 reactor of PG&E's Diablo Canyon Nuclear Power Plant in California was shut down due to the clogging of the seawater intake screens by jellyfish-like creatures called salp. Salp are small barrel-shaped planktons. Unit 1 was earlier shut down for scheduled refueling, but fortunately both reactors are now offline. Y Green Energy Fund has been awarded the Silver 2012 Edison Award in the Innovative Services category for social innovation. Y Green has been recognized repeatedly for its leadership in energy efficiency financing. The company has partnered with several cities and programs that won awards recognizing its clean energy benefits, such as the Green Economic Development. Siemens Energy will be providing long-term maintenance services at Abengoa's 150-megawatt first solar combined cycle hybrid power plant. The gas turbine and steam cycle are fa fired by natural gas, while the steam turbine will be receiving additional solar-generated steam during the day. The plant is located at the High Sea Armel Natural Gas Field in northern Algeria. And finally, in Shaker Heights, Ohio, a high-tech solar array is being installed at the First Unitarian Church of Cleveland. This solar system costs about half a million dollars and is considered as the largest church solar system in the entire state. The 380 panels have a generating capacity of more than 91,000 watts and can supply about 80% of the church's annual power consumption. That's your Daily Energy Report. To learn about these stories and more, please visit us at dailyenergyreport.com and also make sure to check out our podcast on iTunes. For the Daily Energy Report, I'm Ben Lack. Thanks for watching.